canceled concerts turning into big bucks for scam artists. A southern suburban woman realized it a little too late. WGN investigates Lourdes Duarte has more on the 1-800 number that fooled a woman into giving up hundreds of dollars. During the COVID pandemic, a lot of concerts and events have been canceled, and in most cases, you can call, get a refund, no big deal. But it has turned into quite a deal for scam artists trying to get your cash. The 1-800 numbers they set up seem so real. Step inside Renata Patterson's garage. Clearly, she loves everything sports, music, entertainment. Janet Jackson. Is one of her favorite singers. And Control is one of her favorite songs. So when the lineup for the Cincinnati Music Festival in July was announced, I purchased four tickets for over $700. Through Vivid Seats, an independent online ticket marketplace. Great seats, front row, center, because Janet Jackson was headlining. Renata bought the tickets for the three-day event at Paul Brown Stadium before the pandemic. Once she realized the festival was in jeopardy, she started looking into a refund. Like so many other people, she went online and called the 1-800 number that she says came up for vivid seats. And that's when Renata met Justin. And I said, well, I'm calling today to see if the Cincinnati Music Festival is canceled today. Uh, canceled due to the COVID, and it was like, uh, uh, yes, it is. Um, I said, are we issuing refunds? And the person on the phone, he called himself Justin, said yes. But there was a catch. Justin didn't work for Vivid Seats. He was a scammer, told her he couldn't refund her money back to her debit card. I said, because of the COVID-19, we can't do certain things because we're working from home. The whole spiel. Instead, he told her to go to Target and buy two eBay gift cards. He said I had to purchase half of what my initial refund would be. Two gift cards in the amount of $200 a piece, which was a total of $400. You can kind of guess what happened from there. You've heard it before. He told her once she gave him the gift card number, he would place the refund on those cards. Unfortunately, she did exactly what he asked. Only there was no refund. There is, however, a police report that she filed against Justin and the 1-800 number. Does it surprise you that in this day and age, people are still falling for scams like this? You would think, Lourdes, with so many people online today and so much information at their fingertips, they'd be less scammed. Unfortunately, the scams are increasing by large amounts. The Better Business Bureau has seen a boost in the number of scams due in part to the COVID pandemic. <laughs> people try to get refunds on tickets or vacations. The latest numbers from the Federal Trade Commission show phone scams are the number one way fraudsters are getting you. In Illinois, the average loss amount is $312 and growing. And it keeps happening because so many of those 1-800 numbers sound so real. Just take a listen when we called and tried to get some answers. Thank you for calling Healing Department. Please hold for the next available agent. Here's a clue. They say, welcome to the billing department, but you never hear the name of the company. Is this standard practice to ask people to buy gift cards? They weren't able to give me a straight answer and didn't want to be recorded either. It's been five minutes now and I'm still on hold. Once they knew I kept calling. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. They've now blocked me. None of that a surprise for SOMOS, which is basically the nationwide database for toll-free numbers, something that many consumers, like Renata, still view as a trusted business number. Scammers are realize this and trying to take advantage of the integrity of that toll-free number. Because of that, the TRACE Act received bipartisan support on Capitol Hill late last year. By 2021, toll-free wholesalers will be required to get more information from anyone buying a toll-free number, something that's not necessarily done right now. And the FCC is going to be implementing that so that there's a little better control when somebody actually does get a, a phone number from a provider. In the meantime, Renata wants her story to serve as a reminder to do your research the next time a 1-800 number or any number pops up on the screen. I don't know what else to say other than just check, check, check. 
And Renata did eventually get in touch with the actual ticket broker. Her tickets are still valid for the concert, now pushed to 2021. As far as this particular number, the wholesale company that assigned that 1-800 number has started an investigation, which means they could be shut down by the end of the week. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.